tide has gone right out, so I'm going to go along the shoreline, do a bit of foraging, see if I can collect some uh, mussels, limpets, and uh, anything else that turns up. Periwinkles, crab if I'm lucky. There's plenty of seaweed and stuff. Sampling the delights of the sea. So stick with us guys, I'll see you in a short while. You can see there's loads of razor clams. Oh, that muscle's gone. It's no good. Can't get fresher than this, can we? Let's stick. Let's have some of this seaweed. Some periwinkles in that. And some seaweed in there. Look at that. It's a small one. There's a few limpets knocking about. Well, there's barnacles surrounding them, so what I'll do is I'll go for some of the other areas. It's less hassle. It's the first jellyfish I've seen so far. It looks like the compass jellyfish. Ah, another one here. A different stage of development. That's the beach over yonder there. This area looks like it's a good area for crab, possibly. I in the way. The tide has gone right out. It was a full moon last night. Very difficult to see anything edible through all the uh, seaweed, as you can see. Let's go for a little look down in the water tray. This is where the periwinkles hide. The decent sized ones, Badgie. No skinny ones. This one looks alright. See about this one. There you go. One sharp.
by. There's a decent size on there. That looks good. The crab. Plenty of limpets, plenty of periwinkles. No crab or decent sized crab. Anyway, we've got enough stash there for, oh, for now. Kids are having fun in the background. Alright, let's get this fire going. We can get some food on the go. sand just to keep them steady and you stick them on there
And that's the seafood broth, guys. Periwinkles, a bit of sea, uh, a bit of um, hey, seaweed, and obviously we've got limpets there. There's a couple of mussels in there as well, so it should be done nicely that now. this one here so just need to be careful because they are very hot as you can see here it's still sizzling so again take the stomach away and then Bon appétit! Taste. Like a grisly piece of steak. That's all I can say. Nice and salty. It'll go nice with the chorizo and uh, the onions and the sorrel. I don't think I'm going to put any of this in the kids' meals because they'll probably barf. But there you go, guys. I am soon to tuck in. I'll just heat this up. We've got some red onion there, as you can see. There's mussels in. I'll put these other two in now. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot. And scrape the insides out. And we'll put that back on the heat. The empty shells can go on top there. This kids needles done, so I might have some needles as well.
there you have it guys we've got a nice muscle there nice and open we've got some periwinkles obviously chorizo we've got some limpets more periwinkles that's all right for a bit of lunch right now it's time to tuck in no, oh crazy yeah. No, they're, they're all right, they're all good. Ooh. Right, so you might as well give Gracie a fork. I know, man. I'm making you one now. There's an egg on. Check out that beautiful muscle. What do you say, Tom? Yeah, yeah, it is. Don't you worry. It's all right. <laughs> 